Hi everybody, this is a quick off-brand recording about why the media think they're the Messiah. And it's really not their fault, they're just filling a void. Now, I'm old and I've heard a lot of things. Often, when somebody is talking about topic A, I'm not necessarily engaged with what they're saying. My brain is doing something analogous to Google Trends, running down parallel tracks and thinking of related ideas. So I want to be clear that I'm not blaming Brian, Alex, Troy, or Rafat for what I'm about to say, although it was sparked by a portion of their conversation in the latest People vs. Algorithms podcast, which you should listen to. It's a good podcast. They're talking about media, and from my perspective, media has gone through a fundamental transformation in the past couple decades. But it's probably not the transformation you're thinking of about the internet and search and AI and all that stuff. No, the media has taken up Elijah's mantle. They think they're prophetic, not in the silly sense of predicting the future, but in the sense of trying to give order to world events. Brian summarized it by mentioning people who get their worldview from the New York Times or Fox News. That horrifies me because they're not even remotely qualified for the job. And I don't only mean that in the sense that they're not up to the task intellectually, although I do mean that. More importantly, they're structurally incapable of serving that purpose. As much as they like to pretend otherwise, media organizations don't exist to pursue truth. They exist to sell media. So let's make this very simple. Uh, Big Pharma does a lot of advertising in the media. Given that fact, can you trust the media to tell you the truth about Big Pharma? And I don't mean to pick on that particular issue. It's just emblematic of the general problem. People should be getting their worldview from church or synagogue or from the Stoics or maybe even from a great professor in college, although I have my reservations about that. And this brings us back to a quote attributed to G.K. Chesterton. He said, when men cease to believe in God, they don't believe nothing, they believe in anything. And it's not about God. It's about leaving a systematic and comprehensive view of the world. It doesn't matter what you think about Catholicism or Judaism or Stoicism or any other ism. The point is that they've been around long enough to reflect, to consider things in a depth that provides a structure for the data of life. But as a culture, we've lost that. People can't even name the Ten Commandments. From a worldview perspective, a large portion of the population doesn't know a damn thing. So the media is filling that gap. Years ago, I used to listen to the McNeil Lehrer News Hour. They had a great format. They would give you the facts, then they would try to explain them, and they usually had different people from different perspectives, usually someone slightly left and someone slightly right. They weren't trying to give you a worldview. Now, we have media bellyaching about partisanship and how to bridge ideological gaps and how to bring people together, which they don't actually want to do because it's a better business model to be ideological. But the problem here is not the media. They didn't create the problem and they can't solve the problem. The media is simply rushing in to fill a void that was created by people abandoning the things that give meaning and structure to life. That was never their role, and it should never be their role. The point is that when you start to look to the media to solve this problem, you're looking in the wrong place. We have a crisis of meeting, meaning, and the media can't solve that. So that's my reflection. Listen to the People vs. Algorithms podcast. It's a good show if you have any interest in media at all. And thanks for listening.